fear, destruction, death. It all takes a single moment to change everything. The earthquake is an unexpected and menacing occurrence. This is the Earth's natural way of releasing stress through the forces of energy which brings ground to shaking. Earthquakes are highly destructible, destroying properties and causing casualties over the course of history. It has killed more than millions of people in the world. It results in hazards such as landslides, surface ruptures, even fires. Earthquakes cannot be prevented. However, we are able to lessen its drastic effects. I am Nachi Kihano, and this is On Shaking Ground. Before we begin, these are some terminologies that are important for this topic. Hazard Map Earthquakes are common in the Philippines since it lies within the Pacific Ring of Fire. These are the areas of the Philippines which will be most likely hit by an earthquake. Surigao del Sur, La Union, Binguet, Pangasinan, Pampanga, Tarlac, Ifugao, Davao Oriental, Nueva Vizcaya, and Nueva Ecija. However, Intensity The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or FIVO, adopted its own scale called the FIVO Earthquake Intensity Scale, which measures the degree of earthquake shaking. It is represented by Roman numerals ranging from scarcely perceptible to completely devastating. Since there is no way that earthquakes can be accurately predicted, preparing to lessen its impacts becomes a priority. Here are some things you could do before, during, and after an earthquake. What to do before an earthquake? Number one. Familiarize yourself with the exit routes. Number two, know where fire extinguishers, first aid kits, alarms, and communication facilities are located and learn how to use them beforehand. What to do during an earthquake for indoors. Number one, drop to the ground take cover by getting under the sturdy furniture and hold on until the shaking stops if there is no table or desk near you cover your face and head with your arms and crouch in an indoor corner of the building number two stay inside until shaking stops and it is safe to go outside Research has shown that most injuries occur when people inside buildings attempt to move to a different location in the buildings or try to leave. What to do during an earthquake outdoors? Number one, stay away from buildings, street lights, and utility wires. Number two, move away from buildings with glass panels as they have a tendency to be squeezed out from their hinges and become flying daggers. What to do during an earthquake inside a vehicle? Number one, stop as quickly as safety permits and get out of the vehicle. Avoid stopping near or under bridges, buildings, overpasses, and utility wires. What to do after an earthquake? Number one, go out safely. Once the shaking stops, take the fastest and safest way out of the building. Do not use elevators or enter damaged buildings. Number two, listen and be updated with the latest emergency information using a battery-operated radio or television. Number three, help injured or trapped persons, especially those with special needs and disabilities. Do not move seriously injured individuals unless they are in immediate danger or further injury. Call for help. Disaster prevention and mitigation is an important concern. And now we know what earthquakes are and how to prepare for them. It is time to put our knowledge to the test. Remember, there's no harm in hoping for the best as long as you're prepared for the worst. 
Once again, I'm Melchi Kihano from On Shaky Grounds, signing off.